Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 22nd through the 28th. We just had a card come flying out, so that's the card that we are going to take. Um, so yeah, this is for the week of the 22nd through the 28th. Keep in mind the timing is still fluid and not every reading is for you. I want to thank you for your patience. So what do we have for Aries for the week ahead? Happiness. Okay. This is the sun card. There could be a change in vibration. This is extreme happiness. This is enlightenment. It's a new day. It's a breakthrough. It's happy news. It's a yes answer. It's beautiful. Beautiful. You should be having, feels like, it feels like you're going to have a good week by the looks of things because this is a very positive energy. It's a life-changing energy. This is a breakthrough of some sort. It's a very healing energy. So this is going to be a, it appears that it's going to be a very uh, happy week, you know, where there's, there's growth. Um, you may be glowing. You may be feeling um, warm inside, happy. You know, this is extreme happiness. So whatever is happening, it appears to be, you know, a very positive energy. So what do we have for Aries? It's a new day. It's a new beginning of some sort. Now, this is in your past position, so maybe you've been disappointed. This is scissors, disappointment in some affair. Maybe you need to cut something out of your life. Wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So maybe you need to stop worrying. I feel like you're disappointed in something and you're worrying a lot. Maybe you just need to be happy. You need to think positive. Look at things in a different light. This is a card of enlightenment. Um, maybe, I mean, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Maybe you just need to go with the flow. There's definitely, obviously, there's a feeling of disappointment and indecisiveness and worry. I think there's worry here. I think that I, I really feel like whatever is happening, you're going through a period of growth. It's a very positive time in your life. You may not see it as that way because of worry. I think you need to let go of your worries. Oh. Now we got the Ten of Pentacles. It's a challenge. Okay, it came out sideways. So it looks like you are, you may be feeling unstable. You may be feeling insecure. It may have something to do with your home. There could be some family feuds or some family quarreling or some money issues or something like that that you're worried about. Something to do with your family or your home or your business or your job. This is causing you worry. I think that you have plenty or you will have plenty. You need to stop worrying about it. I'm going to put it back in. I think that your stability is, is challenging you. You're worried about your stability or your security. And I feel like you need to stop worrying so much. It feels like, you know, you have a very positive energy here. Page of Swords reversed. Five of Pentacles reversed. Four of Pentacles reversed. Now this is about letting go. And this is about stability. There's something you are holding on to that you need to let go of. There could be, and I'm not sure if it's a family member or a friend or somebody that has uh, stepped over their boundaries with you. You know, you may need to set boundaries. I think that, I think that uh, there's a need to stop competing or stop fighting with somebody. There's somebody that may be fighting with you. This person is immature. They're childish. Maybe you need to let go of this person. Maybe it's a friend. I don't know who it is, but there is somebody here that is overstepping their bounds and they may be causing you 
disappointment. This is about cutting something out. You need to cut something out. And it, and it could just be negative thinking. But it's, you need to relax. You need to relax this week. Ooh, Seven of Swords reversed. I feel like uh, there's definitely been some deception. Could be even self-deception. Fear of being cheated. Feared, fear of being deceived. I think you have your guard up, you know. You're ready to fight at any time. You may be feeling like you've got to defend yourself because you've been dealing with people or a person that has really put you on edge. You know, somebody's put you on edge and I think you just need to let them go. Just drop them. You know what I mean? Maybe you're holding on because of some sort of stable reason. Let it go. Just let it go. You have somebody here that um, you can't trust. This person is not your friend. Maybe you see it this week. Ah, you have a new beginning here. A major new beginning with these cards. This is leaving something behind, stepping into the future. This is the end of a cycle, something coming full circle. So it's interesting because I feel like you've been fighting something. You know, that's fighting, that five of wands. You've been fighting something, fighting letting go. But you have a major completion here. You've learned your lesson. It's time to leave the past behind and go down another path. This is a major accomplishment. You've accomplished something in life. You're starting a new journey right now. This new journey is a very positive one. I think you need to set boundaries with somebody. And leave them behind you. You know, you got to stop fighting. You need to stop competing. You need to stop playing games. you got somebody here that likes to keep you on their toes. On your toes. This is somebody who butts their nose into your business. And has been causing you conflict. Whoever this person is, you need to drop them like a freaking hot potato. Leave them behind you. Cut them out of your life. When you do, you will you'll feel a breath of fresh air. You will be able to relax. You will beat the enemy at their own game. You're dealing with somebody who has been lying to you and, and deceiving you, and you've been it's almost like you've been allowing it. Anyhow, this is the end of a cycle with that person. All this person does, all this person is, is bad news. So anyway, I do believe you're going to be releasing somebody that deceived you, that cheated you, that lied to you, that was very sneaky and very cunning. You're going to become enlightened in some way and your energy, there's going to be an energy shift, a shift in energy. You're going down a new path. You're, you are. This world card is a traveling to a new destination. You've learned a lesson. You've completed a cycle. And you are about to embark on a beautiful new journey. There's no joke about it. Where you can just relax. And it feels like you've been holding on to whatever this is for some sort of stability. You know, maybe it, 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 maybe it was financial reasons. Maybe it was because of assets. Or it was because this person made you feel stable or secure in some way at some time. But there's been so much deception. And this person has had you walk on eggshells. They've lied to you. They've cheated you. Anyway, anyway, it's over. That world card is it's over. This is definitely a shift. That cycle is over. That phase is over. You're all done playing with this person, whoever it is. Yeah. This is somebody that has abused your generosity. They have abused their power over you. They haven't reciprocated fully. This is a one-sidedness. This is, this is not getting what you deserve and taking away 
from them. You need to take yourself away from the situation. So I think that's what you're going to be doing this week. It's the end of an unbalanced situation where you weren't getting what you deserve. Whoever you're dealing with is a fraud. They are a con. And they have abused your generosity in some way. Hmm. Seeing very, very, very clearly. So you're going to be seeing something clear. You're clearly, clearly, you're be going to become clear of a choice. It's like there's been confusion. There's been illusion. You may have made a poor choice. Now you may have faced some consequences for holding on to this. But you're coming out of illusion and seeing something clearly this week about a liar, deception. Somebody may, may uh, be trying to steal from you. I'm just be or they have stolen from you. You know, we have somebody here that is extremely greedy, extremely selfish. They may have gotten involved just for what you could pr provide for them financially or what you could give them. I think you're going to see very very clearly who you are dealing with this week. You need to set boundaries with somebody that is playing with you. And I feel like you're going to. I feel like you're going to see something very, very clearly that you got yourself involved with an individual that is, uh, I think they're money hungry. Ah, judgment, making a judgment call, seeing the truth. Yeah, some sort of truth is going to come out this week. You are definitely going to become enlightened. And you are going to be releasing. This is absolution. This is a life-changing decision. You have been allowing this to happen. This is the end of a karmic situation. The truth comes out. You see very clearly that it's time for you to end this cycle. So definitely moving in a new direction. You are. You're going to be making a life-changing decision this week. This is the end of things. Making a judgment call based on the truth. Coming out of illusion. Somebody didn't get what they deserved and they were abused or they, well, abuse isn't the right word. It's not abuse. This is a fraud. It's a con. It's somebody that is uh, a liar, a cheat, a, a thief, greedy, selfish individual. You have been dealing with a greedy, selfish individual and you are going to see very, very clearly who you have been dealing with. I feel like this, this, this karmic, karmic cycle is completely over. The sun card is a card of freedom. It is. So I do believe that you are going to be, maybe you're going to be delivering a message or somebody is going to be delivering a message to you about whoever this person is that has uh, used you. Somebody has used you. If there's any kind of court hearings or, or issues with the law, it's going to go in your favor this week. There will, there will be forgiveness. If you do end up in court for any reason, that everything is going to be seen. The truth will be seen very, very clearly. You're dealing with somebody that is a thief. By the looks of things. Or a cheater or a liar or something like that. And it is the end. It is the end of, of playing with this person. This, this is over. Done playing. Done playing games. There could be an argument. There could be a fight. Okay, with the Five of Wands and the Page of Swords reversed. This is somebody who doesn't, doesn't think before they talk. You could even end up angry when you realize some sort of truth about somebody that you're dealing with. But whatever is happening, you do have a major new beginning here that leads to happiness. A lot of happiness, extreme happiness, bliss, a new beginning. 
but it's after you set up a boundary. It's after you, you know, make that choice and it's a judgment call, you're making a choice, seeing clearly what you need to do. You know, you're going to be making a choice this week. There could have even been some self-deception here, but this is a realization. It's an epiphany. It's an awakening. So you may you may also be delivering somebody a wake-up call. But anyhow, there is going to be, uh, you know... I'm sorry, the car is going by. There's going to be a release. Acceptance. Acceptance of the truth. Some sort of truth is coming out. You're going to see this is an epiphany. This is an epiphany of some sort. You're going to get some sort of epiphany. Or you're going to see something very, very clearly about an individual that has been very shady and greedy and selfish. And you may be, and it may make you really, really, really upset. I'm just being honest with you. But this is a positive, positive, uh, Enlightenment, okay? You're going to be enlightened as to somebody's uh, falseness, okay? They, somebody's falseness. You're going to see very, very clearly. You're traveling to a new destination where there's a lot of light. This could be also a light bulb moment where you just decide. You've been allowing things to ramble. And this is definitely a decision. It's a life-changing decision right here. To let something go that you have been holding on to for stability reasons. So yeah, a cycle in your life is coming to an end. It's over. You've It's over. It's done. This is it. Oh my goodness. On the bottom. So there is going to be a life-changing event this week. This is, it may feel like it's a disaster. This is a breakdown. It's a dismantling of a false foundation. Something that really isn't stable. It may have appeared to be stable or it may appear to be secure. It may have appeared, may have appeared to be real, you know, but it's not. Somebody has avoided disruption. They have avoided chaos. You know, they have been pretending that everything is good. It's not good. So there's going to be a major life change this week. This is, this is a universe forcing somebody to see the light. So there's going to be a light bulb moment, absolutely. It may come as a shock to you. You're probably going to be shocked by some sort of something that you see. You're going to be shocked by something that you see that forces you to get out of a situation. So whatever is happening, I do feel like you are going... This is a rude awakening. It is a rude awakening. This is this is something that uh, could be. It's not strong. It's not stable. This may, this is a structure. This is a structure that is breaking down. So it could be a relationship. It could be a health issue, an extreme health issue. It could be an explosion of some sort. Um, this is this is some sort of major disturbance that is going to shed light on somebody's falseness. And it's really going to shake things up for you. There's going to be a major shake-up this week in your life that enlightens you in a positive way, believe it or not, and ends a karmic cycle in which you have been reluctant to let go of you know it's like a, it's a karmic situation but i feel like this lesson is has been learned and you're about if you haven't learned the lesson you're gonna learn it this week because there's gonna be some sort of i mean the page of swords reverse could be bad news news you know that you don't want to hear or something that you see that you don't want to see um that really causes disruption within yourself Okay, and it forces you to leave the past behind, to leave something behind that you have been holding on to for dear life. So this week, there's going to be a major life change for you. Major life change, major life change, major life change. These are all universe cards. The universe is going to uh, move you in a new direction. Some of you are going to be traveling. You may be relocating. 
whatever is happening, you're going to see something so clearly that you have no choice but to end something. Good luck.